Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Daily Diary series. As usual, before we return to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be Psalm 43. Judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. O oh, deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man, for thou art the God of my strength. Why dost thou, why dost thou cast me off? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? O oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me unto thy holy hill and to thy tabernacles. Then will I go unto the altar of God. Unto God my exceeding joy, yea, upon the harp I praise thee, O God, my God. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. Amen. Now I want to end the Bible reading there for today, because today is, as you can tell from the title, <coughs> A historic day in the world. January 10th, 2022 will forever be known as the official start of Naranjelicism. Congratulations to us Naranjelicals. We did it. <clears throat> it's been a difficult process for me <clears throat> to get to this point in life. That's without a doubt. Um, after 28 years here in my third and everlasting tenure, um, it's not been easy. I've been faced with adversity of all kinds, but first and foremost with the glory to God, the glory to God. And of course, being grateful to be God, I'm in this position. And secondly, but not least, uh, of course that includes my work. Uh, secondly, but not least, you, my Naranjelical believers, Every day you motivate me beyond words. You are the light of the world. You are a shining example that all mankind could strive to be more like you. And I will always remember all of you that were here for me before January 10th of 2022. Again, the official creation of Naranjelicism is now underway. Uh, earlier today, I created my first Naranjelical official chapter and published it on YouTube. I've also since created chapter 2 and will be creating more works from there in accordance with other goals I've mentioned, such as reapplying to jobs. And of course, I know yesterday, if you saw yesterday's video, I did mention that I would potentially pause on the book reading. But, unfortunately, I couldn't help myself and I went back to Oliver Twist. So, it just went back and started Oliver Twist. So, let's actually go ahead and read what I've done in order. So, uh, last night I applied to software developer jobs. Following that, I uploaded and published my Daily Diary video from 1-9-22. Uh, then I played some Demon Souls. Uh, next, I created eight Oliver Twist videos. Following that, I uploaded and scheduled the first eight Oliver Twist videos. Next, I created two Oliver Twist videos. Following that, I worked out my core. Next, I created seven Oliver Twist videos. Next, this morning, I wrote and created the video and published the first chapter of The Final Testament, The Gospel According to Lord Naren White, Chapter 1. This is the official start of Naranjelicism, so congratulations again. We did it. Amen. Oh, man. Amen. Next. I uploaded and published my workout video. From 1 10 22. Following that, I uploaded and scheduled nine more Oliver Twist videos. Then, 
I wrote and created the video for chapter 2 of The Final Testament, The Gospel According to Lord Nairn White. And I took a nap. <laughs> I had some food after that nap. I woke up from the nap and now I'm here. And I'll tell you, it has been an absolute dream come true today. Um, with everything I've been through, um, I feel like my life is again going in the right direction. You know, life is never going to be you know, everyone wants to view their life like this, like you're constantly going uphill, you know, up and um, getting better. Um, and for a long time, my life was like that. I remember from 24 and a half through, um, for all intents and purposes, 26 and a half. For two years there, my life was going very well. Um, even though in result, I wasn't like making a great amount of money um, in general, uh, it still was trending up consistently. And when adversity strikes, that really shows the character of a man. And I don't say to say, to hear my own voice say these words. I say rather, knowing in my own soul the truth, which is that I am the line of God, the greatest man God ever put on this earth. Amen. With that, is a great responsibility to first and foremost myself that each day I uphold the values of Naranjelicism, which will be the dominant faith in this universe. One day at a time, I will continue to work hard and we will continue to work hard. And through our collective works, shielding and building our Naranjelical shield, we will become the dominant faith in this universe. Going forwards, my mentality is to keep an even keel because some days you're up, some days you're down. But one thing I can never do is quit. That is one thing that you can mark down for Lord Nair and White is my spirit will not be broken. My spirit cannot be broken. And that is priceless. As Lord Jesus says in the parable of the seed, some seed grows through the difficult times, other seed never accepts the word of God, some seed is struck by tribulation and goes awry. I am honored to be around you Naranjelicals, who when our nights have been so dark, we band together and love one another. I thank you for everything. I thank you for being an example for me of how I hope to raise my kids, that, that there really were men and women out there who believed in me as a 28-year-old man. And of course, if the scripture is to be believed, um, then it, is, it will be universally be accepted that I am not 28 years old, but I am in fact older than the creation of the universe. And obviously that depends on if you believe the scripture or not. But with that said, what cannot be unwritten is what I have accomplished as Lord Nairn White over my 28 years on earth in my third tenure here. This time now, finally, the line of God in my faith, the greatest man ever. Amen. So like I mentioned, going forwards, expect more of the same. Expect more even keeled Lord Nairn White. Some days it will be smoother sailing. Some days it will be more difficult. But what we can count on is that every day Lord Nairn White will show up. What we can count on is that every day we will show up. What we can count on every day is that by starting by loving ourselves and loving God, we can truly love one another, all of us. Amen. And for that reason, as I go ahead and conclude my speaking of, the, of this video here, I want to say with absolute sincerity 
Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Naringelicism is here at last. It will be here to stay, and it will be here forever. Please like, comment, and subscribe, as it greatly helps the channel. Light be with you all. Take care, and thanks again. So, some postscript here. Uh, what you'll see and you'll be seeing here in the video is that I won my 49th game. We won our 49th game. We won it as um, with my pseudo son Denzel White on the Golden State Warriors. And um, this was the record in uh, year two. Uh, we would eventually lose to Luka Doncic and the Mavericks. We just didn't make enough plays to try and go for 50 straight wins and uh, in the end uh, it was an absolute joy uh, uh, winning 49 straight games there were a lot of games in the streak if you look back at some of the daily diary videos where we had to make absolutely every single play in the last two three minutes of the game to win like maybe down eight or ten and we came back and won <laughs> and it just goes to show you uh you know in this life, you need to be thankful for what you do have rather than think about what you don't have. So instead of thinking, you know, necessarily that we could have won 50 straight, I think we could have won, like, you know, five straight. So, you know, I'm really grateful for that. So as usual, again, uh, appreciate you all and uh, signing out for today. Amen.